What's mm. your favorite Jago? Pizza, definitely. I absolutely love Chinese. It was weird, eh? You never go to those lani sit-down Chinese restaurants. You always eat it like this on the fly. <laughs> quick, quick, out of a box, take mm. out. Cheap and cheerful. Mm. Cheap and cheerful. I think I'm just scared to see what goes on behind the kitchen. But, <laughs> mm, tastes good, eh? Mm. Well, you know what? Since you love Chinese takeout so much, mm. I've got another Chinese takeout for you. Jeez, I'm nearly and it done also here. comes in a box. <laughs> and I'm nearly done here. I'm full, eh? I don't know if I can stomach another Chinese. This is Cherry's new J1, a car they're calling their first global vehicle aimed at consumers in Europe, North America and of course South Africa. Good thing they're now concentrating on Europe and not worrying about the Chinese market as much. And you can see it in the build quality of this car. T totally. You know, close the doors, they actually flip them solid. Yeah, they very. open the boots. Yeah, so for me, that, that's the first thing that stood out. Mm. And looks, exterior, it's, it's bloody hot from the it's front. It's a nice looking car actually. Yeah, very nice then, looking. And, one thing that I guess people are going to be enjoying is that they're not just knocking off on other cars, which I know Cherry have got into trouble with in the past. Well, they've said this is the first car that is their own original design, that they haven't copied anyone. We, we've got, we've got <laughs> to award them for that. their honesty. Yeah. No, but it, you can see it, because suddenly now they're starting to create a Cherry personality, and yeah. I think maybe that's why they can go with this whole lifestyle thing, yeah. because they can now start building a brand in that way. Yeah. But for me, I still, I still stress a bit with the, with the drive, to be totally honest. It doesn't feel safe, does it? I mean, they've said that safety is a big priority in this car. Yeah. Um, but it does have airbags, it does have ABS and EBD, so it, it is very highly specced. But it's that feeling, isn't it? You just don't feel quite safe enough. It's got the most bizarre, like for me, the, the clutch. It ta it How many takes, times have you stalled it? I've, yeah, I mean, I've stalled once, but the second time I was trying to find the handbrake, because the handbrake in itself is quite, that's probably the coolest thing about it. It it's is. Got this, you feel like a pilot. Yeah, you do. But you let it down and you just don't take off, mm. <laughs> do you? Because that's one thing you won't do in this car is, is speed. Yeah. I mean, 61 kilowatts, you 1. don't feel 3. it. You don't feel it, do you? No, it, it doesn't feels, feel like 61. It feels very, it feels very pup. But I suppose, you know, if you do turn the aircon off and, it uh, makes drill, a big and, and drill it a bit, the car does, car does go. But I'm impressed inside in terms of legroom at the back. Yeah. I mean, I know there's space now with you driving, but when I got into the back in my seating position, I could get in there and that, that's cool. And there's still boot. Yeah. So it's not a huge boot, but it's quite big. In terms of the competitors, yeah, yeah. They're, they're all the same. Yeah. It's, you're right, Lindsay, this is a car that you can only afford 116,000. I think you are getting a lot of car for your money. Mm. And I think you can now seriously look at Cherry in terms of their build quality and their finish. Mm. just feels way better than, than a lot of the other ones we've been in. You know, this is quite interesting as well. This thing on the steering wheel, it's, got the, metal, it's got the metal bit in the middle, which I thought was very nice until I left it in the hot sun. Oh, and you burnt your... <laughs> yeah, when I was diving. But the dials are also lovely. They've got nice blue lights. Yeah. So, I mean, the interior, yes, we, yes it's a bit plasticky, but I mean... It's not bad it's plastic. Not I've bad. seen worse. Mm. Cup holders in the wrong place. Yeah. Every gear change. It's in the way of gears, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, you're also in the way of the gears, so either Sorry. you need to lose some weight or they need a little bit of width well, the car. Let, let, let's not blame Cherry for that. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll probably just me. This um, material on the seats is not bad either. Yeah. I mean, it's um, it's quite nice that they've got, got the dual tone. But I have to say, I was wearing a very short skirt over the weekend, and this is very scratchy material. Oh, really? Yeah, my butt was... <laughs> Well, there, you know, switch. if you are a cherry in a cherry, don't wear a short skirt because then you look like a cherry. Yeah. Yeah. Right. If you can see past the lack of refinement in the drive, mm. they've made up for it in the looks and the build. And the spec, yeah. yeah. I mean, you've got electric front mirrors and you've got fogs. Yeah. You've got electric windows front and back. I mean, when do you get that in this price of car? Never. Starting at 106,000. Yeah, for the entry level spec. And up to what we're driving now, 116,000. Yeah. You know what? If if a car's ride is of no concern to you and its budget's just that, that's all, yeah. it's just money, then yeah. <laughs> the popular item on any Chinese takeout menu is sweet and sour. Mm. But in the case of the Cherry J1, we've decided to keep it sweet and short. Oh, that's popular. And a fortune cookie. What are we going to do with this? Are we going to try and see the future of the J1 it's in South fortune. Africa? I want to find out its fortune. Well, I can tell you, it's not going to cost you a fortune. What does it say? Mm. <laughs> That's quite funny. Genius does what it must and talent does what it can. <laughs> so what is this? <laughs> I don't know, is it genius or is it talent? I think it's a subtle mix of both. So it's got some talent? 
Just. <laughs> it, it does get the job done. So what the J stands for? Just. Yeah, one. Just. The Chinese have been a bit genius. I mean, they only started the company like 10 years ago and they've already sold one and a half million cars. Yeah, but good as that may be, it's entry-level market you're talking about. These are new consumers, so in terms of build quality, it wasn't always that important. But they've they've had a bit of genius, I think, focusing on the European market now. True. And there certainly mm. is way better build quality mm. and uh, ride integrity with, uh, with the J1 than before. Mm. But mine, <laughs> mine was the lotto numbers. And let me be honest, <laughs> if these numbers came true, I wouldn't buy the J1. You know what? I think that's the thing about the J1. If budget is your only concern, buy the car.